This is our eBay room, as my wife calls it. Um, but I'm rarely allowed in here. you around quickly don't focus on one area too long because it's crazy but this is our middle child's bedroom she recently went off to college and we immediately took over her room and I just didn't feel like being in the basement today it's sunny out it's a beautiful day and I didn't want to drag all this stuff to the basement to video in the dungeon I didn't I would have went outside I thought about it and it's just too windy you wouldn't have heard me maybe that's a plus but anyway what I have for you today is a a highbed.com haul that my wife was nice enough to pick up for me the other day uh, the total I spent with all the fees taxes and everything was twenty five dollars and fifty three cents and I guess I'll let you decide if I got my money's worth I was a little worried that uh I wouldn't, but it was one of those, for you, those of you that don't know, highbid.com is an online auction site where auctioneers and private sellers can, and can do auctions. Um, there's a little bit of setup to it, but you can do auctions online. And there's an auctioneer up near my, my mother-in-law's um, that regularly has things on there. And he does not give much for descriptions. He'll give four or five pictures uh, no description you're kind of looking at all the pictures trying to figure out what exactly is in there and it might just say Christmas stuff that's a little vague if you're trying to you know find names to resell or specific items so you kind of take your chances on some things I had originally bid on about 25 or 30 lots I won seven lots for a total of under 26 bucks. So uh, I guess I will uh, now show you what I picked up. I'm pretty happy with this. I guess first we'll start with the toys. Um, since that's right at the top of my invoice here. So it's a box of toys. And he did not have these spread out very well. But the thing that caught my eye in this lot, it's just this right here. Um, were these McDonald's Hot Wheels. I have sold lots of these before for around $20. So these right here, these six cars, they're all from different series, I see. Um, you know, there's kind of a, I don't know if you can see that, hot rod, and kind of looks like a Batmobile, but it's not. This is from the Dark Rider series. Fire truck from the Crackle Car series. The bags are a little dirty. Actually, everything in this purchase is dirty. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's got an alligator on the side of it. From the Total Totally Toys Holiday tattoo machines. Uh, 50th anniversary of NASCAR. It's a McDonald's car. NASCAR car. And did I look at all of them? One, two. I think that's all of them. So anyway, I, I'll do a little more research, but maybe I can get 20 to 25 maybe $30 for those. So right away, I won that lot for... Do, 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 do. What did I pay for that? Oh, I paid $4.00 for this lot so right there that pays for it also in here are these uh, Maisto I believe is the name of the manufacturer um, it's a toy manufacturer of course and I looked at most of these I didn't look at all of them is that one broken? No. oh it's just sitting funny some of them are missing you know like here you can see some of the missiles and things are, are gone um, and they're very dirty, but most of them are in pretty good shape. Some of these, in excellent shape, of course, sell for fifteen to thirty dollars. I got some notes here. 
yeah, 13 to $20, sorry. Um, in excellent shape, and some of them have like little stands. And if you have the stands and they're in great shape, you can get up to 20 bucks a piece for these. They're die cast, in case you can't tell, they're not plastic. There's a bunch of those in here, and I don't know if any of them are worth that kind of money, because like you can see this one's missing a couple of missiles. Apparently he's been to war. But they're very cool. Um, and, you know, since I paid $4 for the lot, anything I get for these bad boys is great. I don't know if I will uh, lot them up or sell them individually. I'll have to do a little more research. I did very cursory research on this. Um, did I show you the helicopter? So that's in this box of toys. Um, this fire truck has seen better days. But the wheels are all there. They all work. I have made a lot of sales on these. these this is Bantrico. And um, I don't know if these are copper or brass or bronze. Uh, there was an auction I went to years ago where I got a whole bunch of these for next to nothing. And at that time, they were still hot. And I still had a few left when, for whatever reason, the bottom just dropped out. All of a sudden, nobody was buying these things. But um, you can still sell these. I looked for this specific one. I looked up. Um, Banthrico makes cars and they make busts of presidents and like ones that are like coins standing up on end and they're all banks made in chicago and anyway this particular one i looked up um and it's has sold for 10 to 15 dollars uh the problem with it is there is a ton of them listed right now so i don't know if i'll put it on and just promote the crap out of it or maybe that'll go in the uh booth at Crazy Frank's. We'll see. I got this little McDonald's Grimace toy. He's probably not worth anything, but he's kind of fun. There's another airplane. I don't know if that's Maisto as well. A little, what do they call that? Oh, he's got some problem with his wings there. You can see they've been bent a little, a little bit the wrong way. So anyway, um, this, this is just a Hot Wheel. I don't think there's anything special about it. The leg of something. This is plastic. This looks like it could have been valuable if it wasn't in bad shape. Um, so anyway, that box, oh, I'm not even done yet. Also, that what came with it was this file cabinet, which is pretty solid and kind of neat by itself. I don't know. If, I don't even know if this has value by itself. I never looked it up, uh, but I'll probably try to sell it. But in a couple of the drawers are doll accessories, and some of these are cool, like this little boombox, a uh, CD player. Well, that actually has a B on it for Barbie. So some of these are actual Barbies. Some of them may not be. Some kind of a little travel bag. That says Barbie on it. Little soccer ball. There's a phone. Little mirrors and hair dryers and other accessories. Shoes. So I know that stuff sells. I don't know for how much. I'm kind of going to let my wife deal with that. She's... Uh, a little more informed on those things. Little travel bag again. So anyway, uh, I don't think this is Barbie because it's it's just huge. It's a huge file cabinet. I think it's just a thing you put on your dresser to put trinkets in or something. But uh, I think I'll sell that separately, maybe over at the booth. And Marcy will probably list those accessories for me. So anyway, all those toys... We paid, what did I say, $4 for. I think that's pretty awesome. I think we're definitely coming out ahead on just those. Mm. Oh, check this out. I got business cards. Can you see that? I can't tell if that's focusing. 
I just left them blank on the back. They're not glossy. Uh, that way, if I had to write a phone number or something down, I could use the bag. I spent maybe 10 minutes designing these. I just went through the website of... Uh, oh, I can't even remember it now. I can't remember the site where I got these from. Next is these electronics. And the total for the electronics I spent was... Well, $6 was the winning bid. Four fees and everything. $6, I got four units here. JVC VCR, which... The JVC VCR can sell $20 to $50. Um, this one's scratched up and dirty. They're all dirty. And none of them have been tested yet. I'm just telling you what I'm finding on cursory searches. But... 20 to 50 bucks if it works. Magnavox uh, VCR and DVD. That one, 60 to $150 if it works. Sansui. And on this one, I do have the remote and the booklet. And that is the VCR and DVD player. That one, anywhere from 40 to 100 bucks if it works. Um, and this bottom one is a Magnavox DVD recorder. So I, I'm not sure on that, but if it works, I'll do more research and figure it out. And I'm assuming it plays DVDs too, but it's it's a recorder. So anyway, I paid, like I said, the winning bid on that was $6 for all of those. I've got two remotes. I got one book. I haven't tested any of them. Uh, one of the VCRs had this blank tape in it. I'm kind of afraid to look at who knows what's on that um, I didn't plug them in to open to see if there's any DVDs in them but that could be a huge score I'm doing these next this little they called it a Christmas lot um, Christmas and other lot um, one thing is this with tags it's you can tell he's kind of rough but this is an Eden stuffed bear on wheels and my wife was looking this up and I don't know what she found but if we brush it out clean him up um, he could be worth a lot I've we sold an Eden stuffed uh, teddy bear clown once for $130 so Eden is a great name for plushes in case you don't know uh, this one I, I don't know what he's worth if he's gonna be worth cleaning up or not but well, here someone tried to sell it for $18 at some point. So we'll see what we can get for that dude. Um, and by the way, for this lot, this Christmas lot, I paid $1 for. So I didn't even really take it seriously. In fact, I think that was the highest bid. I said, I'll throw a dollar at it. And if I get it, wonderful. Um, it has this guy. Yep, that's plenty of that. Someday you're gonna get thrown on the steps. I can't. Yeah. <coughs> so that's annoying, but he is kind of cute. If I clean him up, spruce him up, I don't know what he's worth, but who cares? <laughs> Moving on. Riley store. I did actually try to look this up. Um, I have plenty of the lights that clip into these. Uh, so this is part of a set, probably. You can see it's dirty, as everything is. Uh, I don't. That's probably not worth much. I'll get a few bucks for that probably at the flea market. However, I looked this up. It's from Kohl's. David Carter Brown collection by the sea, um, creamer and sugar things. And I only found one sold, and that's it sold for $29.99 on eBay. Uh, that teapot, teapot there, um, I didn't even open it up and look at it yet. I looked it up, and it might be worth 5 bucks in perfect condition. Nobody cares about that. This little thing, though, took some research to find what these were. They 
our little houses. Um, right in here, there's a label that says Reader's Digest. Little ceramic Reader's Digest houses. There's three of them. And one of those sold recently. Where did I put my note on that? Oh, $15. That's not huge, but you know what? Considering I paid $6 for everything, I'll take $15 on that bad boy. So that's $45, you know, that might be $50 I get out of that $6 lot. Which is wonderful, wonderful. Get your annoying ass back over there. All right. Marble chest set. I paid up a little bit for this. $7.50. I counted. All the pieces are there. There's 16 of the red or white ones. Um, and 16 of the black ones. They are stone. I don't know if it's actually marble. He, he said marble. But it's actually... You can see the bottom, it's wood block with the stone on it. Seven and a half inches. I saw one exactly like this sold on eBay for where was that? Oh, it was listed for $45 and they took a best offer. So I don't know if I can get that much or not. Um, that was the only one I found that was exactly like this. If I got just seriously, if I got 10 or 15 dollars. No, that wouldn't be good enough. I did pay $7.50, so it would be nice to get at least $20 for that. Um, maybe I'll try $45 and see what happens. Oh, Lord. Uh, I got this lot. I got a lot of pots and pans, and I paid $1 for them. That's all. I, <laughs> that was the max I would bid. I just threw it on there. And it won because nobody else wanted it. Included in there was this Fry Daddy. I haven't decided if I'm going to clean this up and try to sell it. Because, like, these things always get nasty around the outside. I didn't even look inside. Oh, the inside looks pretty good, actually. But even if I don't, the cord's worth at least $10. Um, it's not a magnet, magnetic ones. Those sell a lot faster than you can get up to 20 bucks. But still, people lose the cords for their Fridays. Cords worth 10 to 15. The lid is worth something. I don't know what, but people always lose the lids too. So if I don't sell it as a whole, I got some parts to sell. Um, the sifter looks pretty dang old. I don't know what that's worth. That might go to our flea market booth. And then I kept the lids off of the pots that I had because lids sell so yeah this is F Faberware so I'll try to sell the Faberware lid and I think that other one's a Pyrex lid um, like I said there were some pots and pans in there but they were just junk so I threw them away so I can turn that one dollar lot into a few bucks which makes me happy what did I pay for my 8 tracks? $1.50 I paid for this case of 8 tracks. Plus these 8 tracks. Look at that. I got Billy Vaughn. I don't know who that is. But everything's beautiful according to her. Best of Andy Williams. <laughs> Greatest instrumental hits. These all suck, but here's Johnny Cash's greatest hits, Volume 1. Johnny Cash always sells. Oh my gosh. Another Freddy Fender. <laughs> I have this exact 8-track downstairs. Maybe I'll just start collecting Freddy Fender 8-tracks. That'll be my jam. Willie Nelson. The Red-Headed Stranger. John Denver. John Denver. Simon and Garfunkel. Jerry Lee Lewis, Rod Stewart, Blondie, Grease soundtrack. Oh no, that's cool. So unfortunately, my the stereo I had for testing these gave up on me. It started eating them. So I'm going to have to find another way to test them or just sell them as untested. Cheap trick. That band is 
originated not far from where I live, just in northern Illinois. Super Tramp, Billy Joel, Ted Nugent, Foreigner, The Knack, Super Tramp, Sha Na Na, yeah, and some compilation ones in there, and an 8 track cleaner. These sell as well. Plus, the cases sell. $1.50 I paid. Don't know what I'll make on those, but I'll make something. And is that all except for... Yep. The last one was this box I paid $1 for. And I got the winning bid, and I did it for one reason. And everything else is just gravy or garbage. I don't care either way. So for a dollar, I got a small stack of these recordable DVDs that I like to throw them around. They're great for tossing. But these I'll probably bundle with something over here, maybe that Magnavox recorder. Um, I also have in here, there's several Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen VHSs. They're not worth a ton, but... Uh, yeah, here they are. There's three or four in here. Uh, you bundle them up, I might get $10 if I'm lucky. Paranormal Activity DVD. Lots of VHS that I don't care about, except this one. This is probably the greatest video of all time. Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. It reminds me of myself. Grizzly Adams. I loved this show as a kid. He was a guy, he, I think he was falsely accused of murder, so he just went off and lived in the mountains with a bear. And he was a friend to nature. But anyway, there's some, oh, and I love, love me some foghorn leghorn. So I'll, I'm keeping that. But the real reason I bought this box was right here. Paperboy 2 for the NES. That can be worth some money. Um, the sold I found anywhere from twelve fifty to twenty five dollars. So I bid one dollar and won this whole box just because I wanted this. So just that alone makes it worth a dollar. All the rest of this is just gravy. There's some Disney movies and Scooby Doo's and some other VHS. Crap! Crap! Crappy! Crap! Crap! Turn to Snowy River. So that's my haul. That's everything. So what do you think? What do you think is my best find? It's not, you know, like huge home runs, but I'm I'm pretty happy. Um, I'm anxious to get back to live auctions. And this is as close as I can get right now. Like I've said before, thrift stores just aren't my thing. Um, so... I got to get these cleaned up and tested and uh, who knows, maybe there's some DVDs stuck in those DVD players, some bonus stuff, but I don't know. I got to get listing. So thanks for checking this out. Uh, it's a little bit different than what I normally do. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Maybe I'll get outside later. Probably not, but uh, I got to get this stuff out of here because this is kind of my wife's eBay room. It's not my eBay space. So thanks for being here, guys. I will uh, talk to you next time. And hopefully soon I'll be taking you garage sailing and to auctions and outdoor activities. And we'll have fun. Talk to you later. Bye. I'm really out of my element here. Um, but it's one everyone uses. So go to that one. Uh, 25 to, oh, um, where to begin, where to begin? We'll begin at the beginning. Okay, I am not lying, this thing worked last time I tried it. And you can see he's filthy, but. What the heck? Try me.
You suck. I'm going to be really upset if I filmed all that and there's a go there. And then they do that thing where you can buy like 100 cards for $21 or you can get 500 for $21.12. So I went for the 500 for six bucks, right? Right. All right, next on the list. <laughs> this, this is cool. That's not next. I'm not doing that next. 